ஹலோ அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை டிசிஷன் சயின்ஸ் செஷன் டுடே ஐ இல் ஷோ யூ த நார்த் வெஸ்ட் கார்னர் மெத்தட் விச் இஸ் யூஸ்ட் டு சால்வ் அ ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்டேஷன் ப்ராப்ளம் த மெத்தட் கிவ்ஸ் யூ த இனிஷியல் ஃபீஸிபிள் சொல்யூஷன் ஃபார் த கிவின் ப்ராப்ளம் here we have an example so we are going to consider this transportation table where the supply demand and unit cost are given to you if you look at the total supply and the total demand is 340 that means it's a balanced problem we are going to solve this problem using the north west corner method I will quickly rewrite this table down below here in a different way. So I have here W1, W2, W3, W4 and the supply. I will put S for the supply. We have P1, P2, P3 and demand. Okay. The unit cost. for each of the cell i am going to put it here on the topmost corner 1 9 okay 300 500 hundred year supply i'll put 70 here fine i have read it in this matrix down below here and if you can see the changes i have just put the cost in the corner here so that i can write the allocated units here clear now in the northwest corner the first step is to find the northwest corner which is the first cell in the transportation table and do the allocations there to do the allocation check the supply value and the demand value whichever is the least value or the smallest value assign that in the cell so 50 is the smallest value i'll put 50 here okay subtract 50 units from demand i get a zero here 70 minus 50 will give me 20 okay now in this column there are no more allocations possible so i just cross the cells where no allocations can happen now fine the next cell where i have to do the allocation the north west corner is p1 w2 supply is 20 demand is 80 the smallest value among this two is 20 so assign 20 here subtract 20 from 20 i get 0 and here i get 60 okay this row we have zero supply remaining so i need to put a cross in this two cells the next cell is p2 w2 supply is 90 and demand is 60 the least is 60 so i'll assign 60 here subtract 60 from the demand and from the supply okay so supply we have 30 remaining whereas in demand it is 0 so i'll put a cross in the cell here next cell where allocation has to happen is p2 w3 30 and 70 list is 30 i assign the value 30 here subtract 30 from supply subtract 30 from demand 40 is remaining okay put a cross in this cell there are only two cells left now here we have 40 in demand and 
180 as supply so directly I will assign 40 here subtract 40 from this subtract 40 from 180 I will get 140 and the remaining cell we have 140 demand and 140 supply so 140 goes here this is 0 now and we have completed all the allocations okay the next step is to count the number of allocated cells which is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 we will write this down here so number of allocated cells number of allocated cells is equal to 6 m plus n minus 1 the number of rows plus the number of columns minus 1 which is equal to how many rows we had we had three rows p1 p2 and p3 so three rows do not count the demand and the supply while counting the number of rows and columns okay so we have three rows four columns minus one which gives me six now if the number of allocated cells and m plus n minus one is the same then we have achieved the initial feasible solution therefore we have got initial feasible solution okay and what is the total cost let us write the cost here cost is equal to now we need to refer to the allocated table here we have 50 multiplied by 190 20 multiplied by 300 okay then 60 multiplied by 300 30 multiplied by 400 40 by 400 and 140 by 200 and we need to find the total value so i'll just write the cost here it was 50 into 190 plus 20 into 300 plus 60 into 300 plus 30 into 400 plus 40 into 400 and final was 140 into 200 now after doing all these calculations and addition we will get the value 89,500 okay now that is my initial feasible solution just because I have satisfied the condition of the number of allocated cells should be equal to M plus N minus 1 that is row plus column minus 1. I hope you have understood. Please practice this out and please remember this is not your optimum solution. This method is used just to find your initial feasible solution. Thank you.